So we're at the end. This is week three. I'm done. I'm finished with my pilot. This final week was super hard for me to get any writing done. I did a lot of talking about my story to get through some of the tough parts, which was really nice, and hopefully getting some words onto the page. Ultimately, I came back to the page to write every single time, and even if I had to just sit there, I tried to write something. Sometimes part of the process is not overthinking it. Sometimes part of the process is also bothering other people in the middle of my own process. The point was I always came back to sit in front of the page, and even if I had no idea what to write, I still did everything to keep my motivation up. I got to the coffee shop really early on my writing day and had myself some coffee and just kept going. I had about 30 more pages to get in and I was coming up to the final days. It was unbelievably hard, especially on a time limit and knowing that I was not already hitting the amount of days that I had set. Middle of the week, week three, I finally got to the very end. Everything paid off, 62 pages, the end of my pilot was here. Shout out to Kelly, the illustrator of these cards. I had to pick them up because, I mean, it just represented my pilot so well. I'm a little bit of a sentimental buyer. I tend to buy things that represent something that it's just very me. And I, I bought these cards just knowing that this card and some of the other cards just sort of represented this pilot that I had just been dreaming about. And I finally rewrote. It's one of those pilots that I hold on to for dear life because I feel like it's the one that I would probably break through with, but who knows? Maybe one day I'll be able to come back and say which one I broke through with. So today is one of those days where I get to work on my pitch deck and my series Bible, and this is one of the last two days of week three for me. So today is all about doing research for series Bibles because I've got a ton of them, but you know what happens when you kind of walk away from your research from a, a year ago or from a couple months ago and you just need to refresh. So I went ahead and refreshed by just sort of simply looking up some series Bibles. I started with the Script Lab, which I know does sometimes have a series Bible. To be fair, series Bibles are kind of hard to find. You can find scripts readily available now, but TV series Bibles, very strangely, they don't always appear. So sometimes I also additionally research by going off of YouTube to a credible source. One of the credible sources that I came across was Studio Binder. I do recommend you checking out their channel. Studio Binder has been around for a couple of years now and they just have really great informational videos and articles. After getting familiar again with how a series Bible really comes together and the elements that I needed, I wrote out a list of my series Bible format and basically I wrote down the key things that I needed to jot down because every series Bible pretty much comes out slightly different. So you have free reign, make it as interesting or as unique as you want to, just include these specific things. So while the series Bible has like sort of pitch deck-esque feel to capture the producers with, it's also gonna later on serve as the Bible and the book that gives you instructions on how to write the episodes or how the series is to be portrayed by future writers. This is one of the reasons why I say you have to know about the business of screenwriting. It's very important because you are actually the seller of your concept and the key holder to why you should be the person writing it. So remember in the first vlog when I said marinate on your idea? That's for the series Bible reason, and also it's just part of developing your show. So you'll need to carve out the next two or three episodes to kind of define and show what the shape of the show will look like. I know it's really silly when I have Google Docs, but I'm gonna basically start with Canva and create a document out of Canva that really showcases my series Bible. I want it to look slightly visual. I know that I have the series Bible for Stranger Things and it was very visual. It was so amazing to look at and I really want to do that with mine. So um, as a visual person or someone who gets kind of bored just looking at packets of words, I'm gonna start with Canva. And yes, it might come out looking slightly more like a pitch deck, but you know what? I can use that to create my pitch deck after. And a pitch deck is basically a PowerPoint version of all of this. It's, it's 
pretty much going to be a PowerPoint slash PDF packet that sort of more visually encompasses what your show is going to look like, but also it's going to describe more about the audience and, and things like that that you would need to know as a producer just to sell you further on it. So slightly different, Series Bible is definitely going to be used by the writers. Just producers are going to be sold off of the pitch deck. After working on my Series Bible and my pitch deck, I was done for the week. I have tons of stuff coming up for work. I outlined the majority of the series Bible and I started the pitch deck and I was loving where it was going. I'm not going to show all of it here because I'm still crafting it. I hope you all liked this little vlog challenge series that I did. I'm not sure if I should do more, so let me know down in the comments below. I have to go and outline my story for NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month, on top of the fact that I am taking feature film 3 now. So I will see you on the next one, scribes.